everyone. Welcome to Draft Horses with Alexa. I'm Alexa, and my dad is behind the camera. And this is Charlie. He's our soon-to-be nine-year-old Percheron gelding, who we've had for about seven months now, along with his partner Riley, our soon-to-be 15-year-old Belgian gelding. So Charlie is a great horse, great to work with under harness. He's calm, he's always respectful. The only problem we have with him is he does not like the stocks. And you can probably tell he's due for uh, trimming. We have done him once, but he was sedated. The vet was here doing checkups on Daisy, who's back over there. Um, and he needed a trim, so we just got him sedated so we could get him in the socks. But now, he's due again, and we've just been walking him around and through the stocks so that he gets more comfortable, because you'll see in a minute that he gets very nervous going around and through the stocks. This wouldn't be a problem if he lifted his feet well on the ground. So if he did that, we'd just trim him out here somewhere. But he'll lift his fronts on the ground, but he won't move. You probably can't hear, but he's breathing quite loudly. And that's just because he's nervous. I don't know if you can tell by his eyes, they're open, wide open, and that just means he's nervous. <clears throat> so I've been walking him around the stalks a little bit, and then I'll walk him through. You can see our door is open, and so that's just so he knows he's not going to get stuck in there, but it's just one nice walk through. Um, Yesterday, I stopped him a couple times in there, and then just walked it out. And then once he gets comfortable with that, we'll be able to close the door, get him just walking in there nicely, and eventually be able to lift up his feet and get them trimmed. So I stop him on both sides just so he gets used to it and so he knows there's nothing to be scared of. Over here. Okay. And so this side over here is where he seems to be most comfortable. So after we do something where he gets nervous, I'll come stop him here, let him relax so he knows that he's okay, and then we'll go back and do it again. wanting to rush through the stocks, but he walked through very calmly there. Chewing is something you want to see. He's learning. We just want him to know that the stocks are not an evil place. We're not going to leave him in there forever. 
and hopefully eventually he'll learn when he goes in there and is cooperative and then comes back out, his feet feel better. Because we're assuming he had a bad experience in there, just with how he is. Who knows what happened, but... He stayed calm for five seconds and I got him up. And then that will just get longer and longer as he gets more comfortable. And like I said, eventually we'll have the door closed and he'll just walk in. We'll be able to put all of the chains up and get his feet trained. So that was much better than yesterday. Um, one of the times I walked him through and stopped him, he backed out on me. And today, none of that. He, he didn't even move his legs around when we stopped. He stayed perfectly still and calm. We did it twice in a row, so that's good for today. So now we're going to take Mary through the socks. She's much better than him because so, uh, she walked through there all summer last year. Okay. We've just been doing it with her longer and she'll go in with the door closed. Uh, she's nowhere near as nervous, and she's getting, she's at the step where we're working on getting her to lift her feet nicely. We have a lead rope to tie our door closed because something shifted in here at some point and our pin does not fit anymore. So what I just did with Charlie is also something we had to do with Mary and Daisy when we first got them. Um, Mary came along great in the stocks. Daisy did great for a little bit, and then all of a sudden, we can't get her to go through the stocks anymore. And now, she's probably too big to fit in there, so we're not even going to worry about it. So for those of you who don't know, Mary is... She's soon to be 11. And she's one of our purse run mares. One of the ones that were in training all last summer because we were lied to about the amount of work and training her and her partner Daisy did. And Daisy's our pregnant purse run mare. And she's almost nine, right? Yes. No hesitation, she came right on. She's nowhere, she's not nervous, her eyes are pretty closed. Unlike Charlie, he was really nervous.
the first two, we can get the, I'm only, I won't do the whole setup because we're not tying her legs up or anything today. Good girl. We're just gonna ask her to lift them, hold them up for a second, give her, give them back, and then we'll get her up. Good girl. Your hook, Mary. Oh. Good girl. So we didn't get it on the stand and she moved a bit, but I was able to grab it. She stopped moving for two seconds and I give it back so that she learns and she lifts, holds it there. It's not up for very long and she gets it back. That one was worse than the other one. She wants her hook back, she's gonna take it back. You hold it up like one second, nicely. Not like that. It wasn't nice. <clears throat> you try one more time there. So I'll take that. It didn't come all the way up, but she did lift it. And I don't want to end on that. I don't want to end where I'm trying to lift her foot and she's just keeping there. Because if I end there, let her out, she'll learn that if she just keeps her foot there, she will eventually be let out and she doesn't have to really do anything. So now, and she will lift both of her front feet on the ground. Just like Charlie, she doesn't leave them up for very long. We don't try the backs on the ground, just in case. But in the stock, because of the protection, I'll see if she'll at least lift them off of the ground for me. <clears throat> As you can see here, at this piece, I'm protected. So if she kicks, I won't get hit. Whereas if I was on the ground and right up against her leg, if she kicks, I'll get pushed around a little bit. Good girl. She was about to. Good girl, just lift it off the ground. Good girl. Good girl. And we'll take that as a win. Do the other one and then we'll get her out of here. Good job, man. We did this one too. America. So you can rebalance yourself. Hey. And that's all for today for her. Great, we got all four feet up in the air and that's all we go for. Good girl. 
was great. So before we go, I'm going to sh show you um, how one of the horses that are comfortable lift all their feet. So, Sally, Mabel, Jenny, Riley will walk into the stocks, no problem. These three will lift all four feet. Um, Mabel and Jenny, we've done on the ground, just sometimes the stocks are easier for us so that if they lean, they're leaning on the stocks instead of on us. Sally, we actually just had one of the best days ever with her for lifting her front feet and keeping them up in there and not fighting with us. Um, so, and we got them both trimmed. They look a lot better than they did. Her backs though, are a different story. She will lift them off of the ground, but she does not want them to go back. She just doesn't want them tied up. Um, she will bring them to the front for a little bit, not for very long, so we can get my, her foot wrapped and cut the toes off. But we need to figure out for <clears throat> a way for her to be comfortable bringing it back so that we can get to the frog and the sole. And I'm pretty sure we have a paste for sedation, right? To, um, that we got from our vet. And that's, pro that's what we'll be using on Sally so that we can get her back feet trimmed. So we'll take Jenny through. And so, Jenny, Mabel, Sally, I last year in the spring, I'm pretty sure I started training in the stocks with them. Also, all three were nowhere near as nervous as Charlie or Mary used to be. Um, you know, nervous, not really wanting to go through, but just working with them over and over again. Now they will walk in there, no problem. Lift their four feet, uh, except for Sally with her back. Okay. So Jenny needs a hook trim. You'll be able to see it. I did some night work. You smell Charlie and Mary on there? Step up. You can see, and you'll see better when I lift them. Her feet are getting a little long. So. <clears throat> I'm not going to close the back for her. I just lift her four feet. up over you can see here how much we have to take off of her hook wall oh. we've mentioned she has arthritis on her front right shoulder so she doesn't like to keep her legs up for very long which is why I did the um, knife work a couple days ago just to split it up so she doesn't have to keep her legs up Again, you can see how much we have to take off. There you go. Good girl.
So hopefully we'll get Charlie, Mary, and Daisy eventually to that point. <clears throat> we probably won't ever get Sally like that, especially with her backs. <clears throat> but and then the only horse I didn't mention was Izzy. If you watched one of our last videos, you'll know that she was injured about a year ago and can't she can't lift her feet up very well, so. The trimming we've been doing is mostly when she's napping out in the paddock. We'll go out there and do the best that we can because she'll let us. <clears throat> and so Jenny was not as bad as Charlie, but also nervous going through this and just with work so now go in no problem and work all the time for lunch. So you probably heard through the video we were talking about how we are going to trim and all that. Um, and that's because so we when we first got the horses we had a farrier um, but he didn't like doing drafts and the girls weren't the best with lifting their feet and he wasn't comfortable with that. He didn't want to put himself in danger to try trimming them. And there were a few times he wouldn't book us in. Um, he just, and all that, and so, and that's normal. I'm sure a lot of farriers don't like doing drafts. They have big feet, so that's understandable. So we, what was it, July last year, we had someone come out with us, come out here for a couple days to teach us some barefoot trimming so that we could do all of our horses. We have a whole bunch of footage from that and maybe I'll get that out eventually. It's just a lot, a lot to edit and go through. And so maybe an upcoming video will have trimming Jenny's feet and dad will be able to explain what and why he's what he's doing and why he's doing that um, I guess that's it right? yeah. I guess that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one